Welcome to the Tuesday, August 18th, 2015 Village of Peoria Heights Board of Trustees meeting. The meeting is now called to order. Would you please rise and join us in the Pledge of the Flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our village clerk, Shauna Musselman, could not be with us tonight, so I'd like to have a motion to temporarily appoint Administrator Fick to handle the uh, minutes duties tonight. I make a motion. I have a motion from Trustee Carter. Second. Second from Trustee Mariscal. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. Thank you, the ayes have it. Mr. Administrator, you lucky dog, you are taking the minutes tonight if you would, please. Yes, sir. And would you please call roll? Trustee Harn. Trustee Carter. Present. Trustee Mariscal. Present. Trustee Cumming. Trustee Reichert. Present. Trustee Fuller. Present. Thank you very much. Mr. First order of business tonight is the approval of the Board of, Board of Trustees minutes for August 4th, 2015. Are there any changes that need to be made to the minutes as submitted? I move to uh, approve the minutes as written. I have a motion from Trustee Riker. Second. Second from Trustee Mariscal. All those in favor of approving the Board of Trustees minutes for August 4, 2015 as submitted, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. And the Board has approved the Board of Trustees minutes for August 4, 2015. Mr. Administrator, are you aware of any correspondence? It does not appear that we have any correspondence this evening. All right, thank you. Uh, one announcement, just want to thank everyone who um, helped out at Tower Park Music Fest. We also want to thank the weathermen for uh, bringing good weather. We had a great turnout. Everyone enjoyed themselves. And again, uh, big thanks to everyone who volunteered their time and energy to making a, a very successful get together. We'll move now to trustee reports. Trustee Harn could not be here tonight. He's up in Chicago working, so we'll go to Public Works. Director Smith, anything new? I would just uh, like to say that next week we'll be starting the annual seal coating program throughout the village. So there's, there's several different roads throughout the village that are going to be involved. I don't have the complete list in front of me right now, but we will make that available on the village website. So there's going to be some parking limitations and that sort of thing on those roads for a couple days. And at your at the last board meeting, we did approve the patching on Forest Park, and uh, we've contracted with with Taswell, and that should be done the first week in September. So that's going to require a closure on the hill, and we'll obviously coordinate with the police, fire department, AMT when that happens. So things are moving along. We're trying for the big push here for the end of the summer. All right. Thank you very much. Any questions at all for Director Smith? Thank you again. Trustee Cumming, I believe, is under the weather he tonight. Is. Mr. Administrator, anything from the administration personnel end? Nothing this evening, Mr. Mayor. All right. Thank you. We'll go to economic development, village improvements with Trustee Carter. Uh, no. I don't have anything. All right. Thank you very much. Go to the police department with Trustee Fuller. Thank you, Mayor Allen. Um, just want to announce that we have a, um, a neighborhood watch meeting August 31st right here at Village Hall, 6.30 p.m. All right. Any questions at all for Trustee Fuller? Okay, thank you again. We'll go to building prop property maintenance with Trustee Mariscal. I have nothing to report. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank you. And then we'll close out with Trustee Riker with the fire department. I have nothing. Thank you. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Comments from the audience? Any cares, concerns, questions? Beef stew recipes, come on up to the village lectern and let us have it. <laughs> well, we thank everyone for attending tonight. We have no old business, so we'll go immediately to new business. And first up has to do with uh, Upper Terrace View Lane improvements, and Trustee Harna, again, is not here tonight, so Mr. Director, can you give us background on that, please? Where to begin? Um, I, will, I will keep this brief, as I know we've, we've talked about this in uh, multiple meetings here in the, in the past few months. Um, 
basically where we are at right now. This is, uh, this is still a private road. Um, this motion that we're looking for tonight does not affect that in any way. It still remains a private road. Right now we have a temporary easement in place uh, which allows the village legally to get up there with public funds, public employees to do some uh, some needed improvements. Uh, some There's some safety issues up there with the pavement and with the drainage. We have about 10 months left, I think, on that temporary easement. We would like to get some of this paving work done before the end of the year. We probably have about another eight weeks or so uh, of asphalting season left. So. Uh, based on the discussion we had at the last departmental meeting, we've estimated with some of the drainage work that we need to do up there, uh, with some of the paving, pothole filling, uh, we're looking for clearance up to $15,000, which we have in the streets budget to be spent this year sometime within the next eight weeks or so. So that would be the motion request for tonight, Mr. Mayor. Okay, and before we go out for a motion, I do have a, a short statement we want to read regarding the proposed work to be done on Upper Terrace View Lane. It says the Upper Terrace View Lane has never been dedicated as public right-of-way, nor has the village ever accepted responsibility for the maintenance of the roadway. The village may from time to time as an accommodation to residents of Upper Terrace View Lane voluntarily pay portions of the roadway. The village board will consider installing drainage structures along Upper Terrace View Lane in the next two to five years if the balance in, in the general fund sufficiently exceeds what is needed for normal village operations. If funds allow for drainage structures to be installed, the village will further contemplate accepting Upper Terrace View Lane as a public road and assuming all future maintenance. However, any action taken by the village board with respect to Upper Terrace View Lane does not bind the village board to take any future action unless formally approved by a majority vote of its members. So I, I think the, the, the gist of it is that I think uh, the majority of us believe that in the long run we would like to take over maintenance of the upper part of Terrace View Lane for a number of reasons. However, we're not fully equipped at this time to assess what the, val the cost would be to do that properly. We really need to have the drainage lines in place before we could take it on as a village street. So being unable to predict the future and what our revenues will be and what will be available to pay on it, what we're saying is that we'd like to the board to consider taking care of the immediate issues, which is the paving of the road, with the understanding that if uh, the boards in the future want to pursue further improvements and then proceed to take on the maintenance of the road as any other road in Peoria Heights, then uh, th that I think is our long-term focus and hopefully the, the uh, funds available will be there to allow us to do it. So at this time, um, asking the board to make a motion for the paving of Upper Terrace View Lane up to the $15,000 figure. Does, can I ask a question? Does hmm? that 15,000, does that include whatever we need to do be on the street for the from the park district to build that engine or do something with that, the big rocks or whatever? Yeah, that's, I had estimated about $5,000 for that work. That's gonna include some geotextile stuff. We've gotta do some excavations, some rock, uh, that sort of thing. And then we'll be about 10,000 just in pavement materials. Of course this, I mean, we're doing this all in house with village labor. It's probably gonna take my crew a full week to do it. So, I mean, they're, we're paying them either way, but there is a cost there as well. I mean, that's one week of good weather work that we're not working somewhere else. So, but these are these are actual hard costs. Uh, we've we've estimated fifteen thousand dollars. Any other questions at all? Okay, we have temporary. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We have, I just want to clarify. We have temporary easement. We do not have full rights to that right now no. we only have temporary easement just to get our people on their property to do the work so in case they get hurt we're covered correct okay all right and i make a motion okay you have a motion from trustee carter second second from trustee fuller any further questions or comments from the board before the board votes Okay, once again, this is for board approval to uh, take a first step towards 
improvements on Upper Terrace View Lane by doing some drainage work at the top and also um, paving work as outlined by Director Smith. Mr. Administrator, would you please call roll? Trustee Carter? Aye. Trustee Mariscal? Aye. Trustee Reichert? Nay. Trustee Fuller? Aye. Okay, thank you. By a vote of three to one, the board has approved the work to be done on Upper Terrace View Lane as outlined by Director Smith. Our next order of new business tonight is Ordinance 2015-1452. And I believe we're going to have to table this. Is that right, Mr. Director? Yeah, the way that this ordinance is written is it, it requires a three-quarters majority vote to pass it, and there aren't three-quarters of you here. So <laughs> we would be asking to table this until our next meeting. Are you There's four of us. Oh. Four out of six. Oh. Oh. Right? Yes. It's 67 okay. percent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Then uh, this ordinance is having to do with the vacating of Leela Court and Second ter Terrace located in Gibson and Miller's Terrace Woods subdivision. It's a areas that are completely unimproved. Yes. Basically grass and driveways or something. So. Um, the village will be able to function until we can get this done, I'm sure. I believe so. This was okay. just a matter of going through and trying to clean up some plats. I, I think they were initially platted in the 50s or 60s sometime, and they just never came to fruition. So it's a matter of just kind of cleaning up the plats, cleaning up the books, and, and getting them off. Okay. Do you need a motion then to uh, table the ordinance until uh, hopefully our next meeting? I move to table ordinance 2015-1452. Have a motion from Trustee Reichert. Second. Second from Trustee Mariscal. Any questions or comments from the board before the board votes? Okay, once again, this is for uh, board approval of uh, tabling ordinance 2015-1452. Until we have more trustees present, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. And we are tabling ordinance 2015-1452, and we'll address it again as quickly as possible. Next order of new business tonight is a uh, site plan approval request for 5619 Galena Road. Um, I apologize to our administrator and to those who came here tonight on this. Th th this is an item that was uh, approved by the Planning Commission but they was that approximately like a week, week and a half ago or thereabouts. And uh, I neglected to ask our administrator to uh, consider this for our following meeting so that we would have the board have an opportunity to discuss it at our departmental meeting, which will be held um, August 26th. So I apologize to everyone involved in that, but I, I feel it's an important thing that the uh, four trustees we have here and myself were not able to attend that meeting. And I think everyone needs to be brought up to speed as to what all is involved with it. So uh, I'm asking the board at this time to make a motion to uh, table this site plan approval request for 5619 Galena Road till likely the uh, next Board of Trustees meeting. Make a motion. Have a motion from Trustee Carter. Second. Second from Trustee Reichert. Any questions or comments from the board before the board votes? Okay, once again, this is for board approval to table the site plan approval request for 5619 Galena Road. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. Thank you, the ayes have it. And again, I apologize to those who showed up tonight. Um, like I said, I, I, did, I did not use my due diligence to let everyone know that the trustees needed to review all that was involved. Uh, next order of new business tonight has to do with the donation request from the Peoria Heights JFL. Mr. Administrator, could you please give us a background on that, please? Uh, I believe this is about the fifth year in a row that we've uh, been requested to make a donation to the JFL. In their letter, they don't specify an amount, but in the, in the past, excuse me, we donated $1,000. <clears> um, so I guess that would be the recommendation is just to fund them at the same level as we had in the past with a $1,000 donation. Okay. Thank you. We need a motion, please. I make a motion to uh, donate $1,000 to the uh, Pure Heights JFL. 
I have a motion from Trustee Fuller. Second. Second from Trustee Mariscal. Any questions or comments from the board before the board votes? Okay, once again, it's for board approval of the $1,000 donation to the Peoria Heights Junior Football League. Mr. Administrator, would you please call roll? Trustee Carter. Aye. Trustee Mariscal. Aye. Trustee Reichert. Aye. Trustee Fuller. Aye. Okay, thank you. By a vote of four to zero, the board has approved the $1,000 donation to the Peoria Heights GFL program as outlined by Administrator Fick. Next order of business tonight is the reading of the treasurer's report. Mr. Administrator, would you do us the favor, please? Uh, so Mr. Mayor, this is the treasurer's report for the month of July 2015. In the village accounts, the general fund balance $757,397.62. Motor fuel account, $249,156.45. Police drug savings. $554.86. Tax increment finance account, $53,593.81. And the health care flexible account, $9,840.50 for a grand total in the village accounts of $1,070,543.24. And in the, excuse me, the waterworks uh, department, the waterworks account has a balance of $507,624.51. Infrastructure maintenance fee, $89,048.82, and service deposits, $87,026.28 for a grand total of waterworks of $683,699.61. Thank you very much. Are there, are there any questions from the board regarding the treasurer's report? Okay, then we will accept it as read. The next departmental committee meeting will be held Wednesday, August 26th at 6.30 p.m. And the next board of trustees meeting will be held Tuesday, September 1st at 6.30 p.m. Is there any other business to come before the board this evening? Move to adjourn. I have a motion from Trustee Reichert. Second. Second. Second from Trustee Fuller. All those in favor of adjourning the meeting at this time, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. Meeting is now adjourned. We thank everyone for attending.